slowly drifting into insanity. You are not insane. A good decision for you is to don't put yourself down, you know. I mean, it doesn't benefit you. I think you'd put yourself down too in my position. Andrew, what makes you say that? Because it's hard not to when you look into the mirror just to see a freak with homicidal tendencies. That's what I am. Well, did you try any of this technique I gave you last week? No. You need to follow these rules and this step by step, and you will get better. I've just been distracted by some other things. You know? Well, I know you, you, your mind is occupied, you know, but um, you need to find the desire to get better. You know, I mean, you live a rather difficult life, and uh, you don't want to give yourself enough credit. So, what would you say makes you feel better? Women, I guess. Do you think about that woman? Not much to think about, in my opinion. Andrew, you're not a crazy person. You, you have allowed uh, ways that others see you to give you a tainted vision of yourself. and You suddenly believe your innocence is perished. Am I right? My innocence has been perished for as long as I can remember. The feeling of remorse is foreign to me. In the act of harming someone, I would not feel it. You know, you're, you're missing that I am the epitome of 19-year-old suburban lowlife. I have no positive role models left since my dad abandoned us. I'm stuck at home with my financially screwed mom. I have no trustworthy friends. No girl that wants me, obviously. No job. I've had no good job. Gotten along with none of the managers. All I do is roam the streets to kill time. I roam aimlessly. And it, it drives me crazy to the point where I want to take a life. Andrew, you design your own destiny. The hell do you mean by that? I'm trying to say it's up to you to pick yourself up. You don't need to suffer. Um, something within you is making you that you deserve a feeling of self-hatred. Uh, and I find you to be a good kid. And I think you're going to make it through that. Yeah, you want to tell me I'm a good kid, but we both know exactly what's going to happen after this. I'm going to go back to my mom's house and I'm just going to pace back and forth hour after hour fantasizing about murder. And I don't want it to happen. I just well, know it's going to happen. I want you to know what to do. You need first, the first most important, you need to make an effort to meet people, to have possible and positively interaction. You can't allow yourself to become antisocial uh, because in doing that, you will make yourself more susceptible to negative emotions. So be kind of like how I used to be. Okay, it's about time. Good luck and look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, hey, I saw your ad and I'm local. Um, I'm interested. I don't know what you're talking about. Your ad, you know, the one you put up online. I just searched it. I'm local. I'm near you. I want, I'm interested. What'd you type in? Um, kill people for cash. Or something like that. Don't be late. Alright. I 
assume you're the one I called. It's you. Name's yes. Andrew. Put that way. I know who you are. Been watching you, Andrew. Your life shit. Just like this coffee shit. Everything about you is shit. So now what brings you here? I want to do work for you. Oh, you want to do work for me? Yes. Yeah, you want to do work for me. Let me ask something. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see these hands. You want to do work for me? You think you could do work for me? Yes. All right. You don't Can these me? hands kill? Pretty sure. You think so, huh? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Andrew. Those hands could do what I need them to do. There's $5,000 waiting for you. What is it? You take care of somebody. That I need taken care of. It's right here. $5,000, you do it right, maybe I'll give you a little extra. You go see that deadbeat dad of yours. How do you know about that? Again, I know everything. My name's Dante. Nice to meet you. You go do that for me, and maybe there'll be more work for you in the end. Till then, just call me when it's done. And I just feel absolutely fantastic. Now, this job is yours. What do you do exactly? Um, it's a local delivery service. You know, we cater to people yeah. locally. And being occupied uh, makes you feel better about your issue, I guess? Well, it doesn't at the same time, it doesn't. It does because now I have something to do during the day, so I'm not as bored as I used to be. However, it does not because I feel like my issues are never going to leave me no matter what I do. Why not? Because sometimes I suspect the insanity can help me. You know? You are not insane, Andrew. You know what I've been thinking. I say it and repeat it. You are not insane. What if by saying that you're doubting me? What if insanity equals having potential for success and remorselessness equals capability, you know? Unless you are to kill people, I don't think being uh, crazy will benefit your work and uh, I highly doubt being a hitman is your job. Hey, Locust, correct? What's up, boss? Andrew, pleasure to finally meet you. I heard your discography, and I would like to help you out. And you are in need of an agent and producer, correct? I have a lot of stuff. Now, how do you know that? Oh, um, well, my affiliate should have contacted you a few days back to inform you that I would be making a stop. Do you remember? Oh, you remember? You, you that guy. Sweet Come on man. in, let's okay. go. What the hell are you waiting for? Okay. You have a really nice place to live. Thanks, man. I dig it. So you, uh, you feeling my music? Yeah, I heard the last mixtape in LP. You have experience with, uh, Certain softwares or no? Uh, you mind if I check this out? Oh, by all means. All yours. Alright, thanks, brother. By all means. Yo, you taking hella long in that bathroom, son. My bad. You alright? Okay. So. Ah, 
kill me? Uh, I worked too damn hard to let someone stop me. Come here, check your smoke. Huh? Check your smoke. You think you're doing something? With a pulse? You left him with a pulse? What are you stupid? I just sent one of my guys to do it. Could have sworn he was dead. I hit him twice, right? Yeah, he was dead. Yeah, you think the he was dead? Pipe. You know what it is? It's that therapist. It's that therapist in your head. You hear me? It's that therapist. So now I you're gonna you. take out your therapist. All right? You take out your therapist. All right? And I want to talk to you until you take out your therapist. Otherwise, I'm gonna take you out. Do you understand? You understand? I got it. I got it. All right. Go do it. Let's sit down, let's talk about it, you know, I, I know we can, you know, we can... I don't we can think act. we're talking about anything today. You've been hindering me and slowing me down and frankly I'm really sick and tired of it. What are you talking about, Andrew? You know, I've been trying to help you. Why are you I'm sick of it. About it? You know, I'm I mean, sick of it. Slowing down in what way? What I've been doing? I've been trying to help you. That's what if I want to stay crazy, Dr. Moore? We are here for you. You think of that, or are you too busy thinking about yourself 100% of the time? Thinking about new ways of taking my, <coughs> my money from me. I am not your My friend. mom's money. I, I want you to feel better, Andrew. That is my goal. Well, shut up, you lying piece of shit. I've had enough of you. Listen to me, Andrew. Listen to me. Listen to what? Your pseudo intellectual bullcrap that's supposed to cure my insanity? Fuck you! We can fix it. Fuck you! Take your time, calm down. What are you doing? You know? Listen, talking. This take a good look at me. This doesn't help. Take a good look at me yeah. and tell me I'm not ugly. No. Tell me. No, you're not. You're not. People We're, don't care about you. We have nowhere to go from here, all right? We have nowhere to go from here. You're doomed, and I'm doomed. Just I'm gonna end this the way I want to end it. Just about it and everything is going to be fine. You cannot go to this way. This is enough. It's not you, Andrew. You're a good kid. You're not what you think you're going to be. Just get away from me. 